love Jim Beam, but we don't feel they love us back. When you have a strike, the company loses, the union loses, nobody wins in a strike. All we're asking for is a fair contract. The strike started last week when more than 200 Jim Beam employees walked off the job. Sports has been unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm so proud of the support we get from our community. Union members say they're being overworked to keep up with the demand for Jim Beam products. And they need to hire more permanent people so we can be able to do our jobs and not have all this over time. The union rejected a contract offer from the company on Friday. Jim Beam released a statement saying in part, quote, we remain committed to doing what we can to promote a timely resolution that is in the interest of our union employees and our business, end quote. Union workers are picketing around the clock. In the 25 years that I've been in the union, the union is stronger now than it's ever been, and I'm proud of that. Union workers waved as drivers honked their horns in support. We're getting people coming by, dropping off food. Ham sandwiches, cookies, uh, turkey sandwiches, water. Ford employees from the United Auto Workers Union brought lunch to the picketers. Show our support, solidarity, that's what we're all about. Jim B met with union leaders Sunday night to talk. They were set to try and negotiate another contract offer on Tuesday. Uh, we just want to respect is all we want. A fair contract with gray areas cut out and no open ends. Union workers here tell me they're ready to get back to work if they can negotiate a contract. In Claremont, Emily Maha, WLKY News. And Jim Beam says it does have a contingency plan in place to make sure operations continue to move forward while union workers are on strike. And